Hey, what is going on guys? It's CK here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 6 where we're going to be taking a test drive in this, the 2014 Ferrari California T. Now, if you just look at this thing at the front, you'll definitely notice this thing looks a hell of a lot more beautiful and sexier than the 2008, I believe, Ferrari California because there was a lot of people complaining on how, like, un ish it looked like, so yeah, this one is proper back on form, it kind of reminds me, I think Chris Harris said this a little bit, of the F type at the front, it's just the way the lights are going and then the grill is shaped, but yeah, the F type has one bargain along the grill, granted the California has three, but there's a bit of FF in there as well, a bit of F12, but it looks nice man, but the one thing the one thing you can do in Forza Vista mode, you can take down the roof. Look at this. I mean, I've always said we need more convertible cars in the game to race. To race, but I'm happy they even done this. I mean, look how this is. So cool. Can you hear the noises and everything? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? as a convertible or as a coupe because I like the colour scheme that they've got on this, the blue and the black roof. So yeah, we'll check and see how big a trunk it has. Well, <laughs> as the roof in the trunk, so yeah, it's not exactly the best. You can just slide some, stun slide some stuff underneath it, so yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. But we're going to jump inside of it and actually hear this thing because this thing is now turbocharged. Yep, yeah, it is a turbocharged V8. Let's hew it. Hmm, I don't really know. Let's see it again. Now that sounds like a true Ferrari should, and apologies why I'm pointing it to the right a little bit. It's because if you do this, if you actually point it straight at it, the audio doesn't really, it isn't really that loud, listen. Compare that to this. See what I mean? So yeah, it is an overall great looking car, great sounding car, so I think we're gonna jump out of it. <laughs> Watch me hop out the motherfucking Ferrari. <laughs> that doesn't really go, but we'll see you on the track, guys. So you join us on the gorgeous Yas Marina circuit. The last time we were here, we were drifting the Golf R back in the demo for this game. So I thought we'd take the California on this track, see how it does. And yeah, let's get going. Well, I wish you to do burn this. That was surprising, I never expected that. Ooh, it sounds good, especially with the sound bellowing off the walls of the circuit. Now, the old California had stacked tailpipes, if you remember that, but this looks like a more traditional Ferrari. It really reminds me, this whole back end really reminds me of the 599 GTO, aka Kato. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video with him. I call it him because the car is a fucking character. It really, really is because you you know that is one of my favourite Ferraris of all time if you've been on the channel long enough. but. It's a great, great, great car. But anyway, back to the California. It's, it's just wanting to get sideways, holy shit! Oh, yes! It's not bad. Now, this thing puts down around about 554 horsepower and 556 pounds feet of torque. So it's actually a bit more torque than horsepower. So that's the reason why it gets out of corners pretty damn fast. And it just allows you to keep drifting. So it's very good. I hate this corner. This one I'll always go off on. Down into second gear. Ooh, bit twitchy there. Bit twitchy there, man. But this is a really, really cool setup. Big turbocharged V8, rear drive, and it's a convertible, even though you can't take the roof down where you're actually racing it. Forza 7, maybe Forza 7, I don't know, I don't, it's weird though because there is other convertibles in the game where the roof is down, but since the Ferrari California is a cabriolet, I can never say that word, so I'm just going to say convertible, we expect to take the roof down, don't know why, but 
I used to love doing that in test drive. Unlimited! Okay. Whoa, wait. It's, it's kind of weird though. See when the, the revs drop a little bit and you're going around a corner, you really, really need to work it because you feel it wanting to let go there. Shit. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Felt that time. Yep, she has a twitchy little bugger. She has a twitchy little bugger sometimes. Come on, come on. That's it. Work your way around. Work your way around, my brother. Work your way around. So, let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you make of Ferrari going, like, the turbocharged route now? Because I know the last big Ferrari um, was the F40, which was turbocharged. So, the new 488 GTB and the Spider version of that, they are both turbocharged now. And this, so... I don't know what is going to be the next Ferrari with a turbocharger because new Ferraris don't exactly come around a lot these days. Well, compared to Lamborghini, they do, but <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's it's weird though. It is weird because and it's all for efficiency. It's all for saving the planet and what all. It's a Ferrari. Come the fuck on. We're not saving the planet in a Ferrari if you get a big turbocharged V8. You don't want that. Now, I know the McLaren P1 and the Porsche 918, more specifically the Porsche, is the hypercars for the future, if you know what I mean. They're trying to make them efficient, but at the same time, still keeping them performance orientated, so it's weird. I don't know, it just feels like the old school petrol head way is dying, and I don't like that. I really, really don't like that. I mean, since I was born, it's always been big, Fire spitting V8s, V10s, V12s, and just powered by petrol or gasoline if you're from America. But now, even freaking pickup trucks in the States, I do believe it's either, I think it's the new F 150 that's meant to be getting a hybrid version. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. I mean, when you say a Ford F 150 to a person who doesn't even know what it is, it sounds big, mean, and muscly, doesn't it? So, man, it is really, really weird. I'm kind of sad, and yet again, I'm kind of glad that we're trying to do something for the planet, but at the same time, in our petrol, it's like, what about the fun? <laughs> what about the fun? What about the fun, man? But I, I know McLaren P1 and the Porsche 918 is a hell of a lot of fun, but it, it, nothing can beat naturally aspirated on a big supercharger. Nothing can beat that. That's just my own opinions, guys. If you have something different, let me know, as I said. So, anyway, we'll try and get this thing sideways. I know a lot of you want to see that. Uh, come on, come on. Yes. Here's me saying, oh, we'll try and get it sideways, and we spent most of the first lap going sideways, but in terms of steering, it's pretty direct. You do get quite a lot of good feel to it, and it just locks at the most perfect angle. Not too much as if you feel you're feel as if you're going to spin, but it just locks perfectly. Shifts are pretty good. I think it blips it as well, which is nice. Because I know the F12 does that as well. Come on. So controllable. So controllable. It feels a lot lighter than what it actually is, because it's around about £3,800, so she's a big girl. She has a big, big girl, but yet again, big girl, you are beautiful. <laughs> now you're beautiful, definitely. As you can see, she's getting dirty. She is getting dirty. We're needing to go to the car wash. Where's Christina Aguilera when you need her? Seriously. Bloody hell, look at it, it's so dirty. I mean, if I had this car in real life, it would be getting polished, waxed, and everything nearly every day if I had the money to do that, because it is so good looking. It is so good looking from the front, from the back as well it does look nice but not as nice as the front but if I had to choose like a GT car out of this, the F-Type and the Aston Martin V12 Zagato because that's the next test drive that's coming up guys, the, the Aston Martin V12 Zagato, not the Villa Desk version, they actually listened to me because I was the one that kept on saying oh it'd be good to see actually the normal B12 Zagato in, so thanks turn time for actually listening, because the Garden Rake, as I called the Villa Dest, not a lot of people used to drive it. I mean, it was a good car nonetheless, but the normal one's so much nicer. 
so much sexier as well, so... Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> Fucking wanted to bounce him in there. Get bouncy. Getting bouncy in the Ferrari. <laughs> Overall impressions of the... The Ferrari California T. It's a big, big improvement over the 2008 model. Maybe 2009, maybe get my years mixed up, but... It looks better. It sounds better. It handles better. And just an overall better package. It definitely is, and it feels a lot more agile on its feet as well because the back end on the older one is a lot more higher, I feel like. I mean, the body works a lot more higher. They've raised, well, not raised it, they've floored it down on this one, and it just, it's all the more better for it. It is all the more better for it. So we're coming up to the last two corners. Let's see if we can get a long sweeping drift on to actually. End it. Can we keep it going? Oh, 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 nah, nah, nah. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> the first bit wasn't really that successful, but... Uh, God, don't spin. Don't freaking spin. Don't you dare do that, mate. Don't you dare spin. My name's Cartman. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm going home. Oh, my God. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this test drive of the Ferrari California T. Let me know in the comments below, what do you make of the car? I think it's brilliant. It is absolutely fantastic. Big improvement on the last generation. And I do recommend you, if you've got fours or six and you haven't driven this thing yet, go ahead, check it out, and also buy one in this color because it is fabulous and fucking blue. It definitely is really, really nice in this blue. And look at that. That's thumbnail material right there. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, then make sure to leave it a like. It just lets me know that you're enjoying the videos and it puts a massive smile on my face. Thanks for the support of all of the DLC videos as well. Really do appreciate that. Brand new to the channel, subscribe. Why not do that to see more videos from WA And share it around as well. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't already. I'm on there all the time. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Coming up tomorrow as usual. Thanks for watching, and peace. That looks sexy. That looks sexy as fuck.